Thank you for coming out today to witness the first demonstration of the Terrafugia transition. This is a really big day for Terrafugia. This is probably the biggest day we've had since really the company got off the ground. This is the first time we show everyone what the transition can really do. How many pilots do we have today? It's great to be able to stop and celebrate and appreciate what we've done over the last six years and uh, show off a little bit, have some fun with the plane. Nobody has ever developed a flying car with the transition's capabilities. You'll see a fun to fly plane, you'll see a sporty car, you'll see a car fly, and you'll witness the fastest transformation of an airplane into a car that's ever happened. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Terrafugia transition. <laughs> At the controls today is Phil Matier. Phil is our test pilot. He's a retired colonel in the Air Force, and he's flown everything from Piper Cubs to F-16s and A-10s, so the uh, transition is in very good hands. There's always this, will it actually work? You know, will, it, will they be able to do it in the end? And what we're here today to show is that it's working. It's really working. Everything is really working. So this is a big day for us. What we're going to do now is we're going to convert the transition from drive mode to flight mode. There's three steps here. Phil is depressing two buttons on the instrument panel. There's a screen on the instrument panel that is telling him the status of the deployment. Once the wings are fully deployed, the screen will tell him by showing a series of green check marks that the wings are down and locked. You can see the conversion takes less than a minute. We like to compare this to putting the top down in your car. And that was the design intent. The ability for it to transition in such a, a fast amount of time, it was just uh, incredible. Great flight, Phil. He's up. Hello, Chris again. The view from up here is beautiful, especially when you consider I'm a car looking down on traffic and no speed zones up here. <laughs> Phil's going to do a turn out there and he's going to come right along about 100 feet right down past the runway there. So it give you a good chance to see the vehicle in flight. Looks like a real airplane to me.
It's taken so long to get to the point where we are right now and to have everything really come together and have, you know, no little glitches, have really everything working. It's psychologically, that's huge. Phil's gonna come back in and we're gonna convert back over to car mode. It's fantastic, I'll tell you, just the flight characteristics, it's uh, ability to uh, have a great takeoff roll as far as this rate of roll, uh, which is uh, incredible. It's the Jetsons, it really is. <laughs> What you're seeing here is the fastest conversion of any flying car ever. Flying cars go back to the 19-teens when Glenn Curtis attempted the first. There have been many, many attempts. There's never been anything as close to a, a quick fold as that. It was neat how quick you could switch between the two. We were making jokes about how, you know, traffic seems to be too big of a burden. You just take off. <laughs> Great, Phil. Well, maybe someday he'll take this to the uh, to the high school prom, right, Jack? No limos, be flying cars to go to the prom. And... I think this is the beginning steps, and it'll probably get people's minds working more, and they'll start developing more more types of flying cars. And yeah, maybe this is the start of the future of flying cars. In some ways, this is really the the culmination of a lot of work, and in other ways, it's really just the beginning because now we've got something that's. It's solid and we're ready to, to take forward and get into production and get out, get out there and, and start getting into the hands of our customers. So it's, it's kind of a, a transition day. Pardon the pun. <laughs>